Hi, I'm Kenny Yates, and this is Not for the Weak of Heart. As you all are well aware, Halloween is nigh upon us, and people are genuinely wondering what to do on Halloween if they cannot celebrate it. We teach that Christians can't celebrate Halloween, but we never really give an alternative. And then there are those Christians who ridicule other Christians who are trying to explain Halloween, explain its true origins and the spiritual dangers associated with it, but they claim that the Holy Spirit does not take a day off on the 31st of October. And then they say, we don't care how non-Christians celebrate it, we will choose to celebrate it our way. Well, let me just say this. Cleaning up filth does not magically change it somehow. It is still filth. But the reality is this. If someone really wants to do something, there's nothing that someone else can say to dissuade that person from doing that thing. They will always find a seemingly legitimate excuse or a legitimate reason why they're right, why they can indulge in the practice that they choose or desire to indulge in. So why then can't Christians participate in Halloween? Good question! Well, for one, the origin of Halloween is steeped in pagan beliefs and worship. Even though they claim that Halloween started in the church, Liar! See our video, The Origins of Halloween, where we explain the real origins of Halloween. The truth is, Paul told us to put our flesh into subjection and stay away from the very appearance of evil. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 22. And let me just add this. Halloween is the epitome of the appearance of evil. Okay, okay, Brother Kenny. What should we do then? Well, if Halloween is a night of darkness, and it is, then the only way to combat darkness is to shine the light. So how do we do that, Brother Kenny? Well, let me give you three examples that you can do. Number one, fasting on that day, October 31st. Daniel in chapter 10 teaches that fasting tears down strongholds. So if darkness is raining on Halloween, what better way to combat the darkness. Instead of trying to whitewash a satanic holiday and encourage others to do the same because of flesh, why not try prayer and fasting to bring light into that darkness? Compromising because of the lust of flesh is the reason why today's church is so weak and so powerless. Number two, prayer. You don't have to fast if you don't want to, but spend some extra time in prayer. Maybe wake up a little bit earlier and pray an extra 15 or 20 minutes. Spend some time throughout the day and offer up a prayer to the Lord. Many witches cast spells during this month, especially the night of the 31st of October, Halloween night. If witches and warlocks are casting spells, why are we helping them to celebrate that day? Even if we are not casting spells ourselves, why are we involved? Would it not make much more sense to combat that and counter those dark arts with prayer instead of indulging the flesh? 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 4 through 6 says, For the weapons of our warfare are not of the flesh, but have divine power to destroy strongholds. We destroy arguments and every lofty opinion raised against the knowledge of God, and take every thought captive to obey Christ, being ready to punish every disobedience when your obedience is complete. The problem is, we can't tear down strongholds when we participate in those strongholds, when we help build up those strongholds. But no matter how much whitewash you put on a sepulcher, it still remains nothing more than a grave. Number three, Bible study groups or worship. These are trying times. The days of tribulation are near. Do you think we have time to fraternize with darkness or feed the flesh? They say no. These are troublesome times that we're in. Jesus said in Matthew chapter 18, 
verse 18, that whatever we bind on earth will be bound in heaven. Whatever we loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Do you really want to lose the darkness of Halloween because you want to participate in it? Because you want to feed your flesh and your earthly desires? No. We want to spread light. We want to bring the knowledge of God. And the knowledge of God has nothing to do with Halloween. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you're making some very good points. Let me summarize everything up for you. Halloween is darkness. Witches and warlocks do cast spells on that night. Halloween is not, and I repeat, Halloween is not a Christian holiday. Therefore, we should refrain from participating in it in any shape, any fashion, any way. We cannot legitimize evil by just saying or claiming it is something else. A whitewashed sepulcher is only a whitewashed grave. So, I submit to you three things that can be done to combat the evil. Number one, fasting. Number two, prayer. Number three, group Bible study, group worship. Remember, all sin is rooted in three areas. The lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. Don't let the flesh dictate what you do. If you liked this video, please hit the like button, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll never miss the post. If you want to grow your relationship with God and have a daily devotional sent directly to your phone or email, subscribe to our website, holdahope.org, or join our Telegram channel, Hold a Hope. We also have a quiz channel that you can have some fun while testing your Bible knowledge skills with our Bible quiz. I want to say thank you so much for watching. I'm Kenny Yates, and this was Not for the Week of Heart. Until next time, be blessed and stay blessed.